Well, after all that, I think we are finally here. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wyn, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? <laughs> Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Uh, first enchanter? Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then... Uh... Where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Sup? Uh, a Grey Warden in the tower? Grey Wardens go wherever duty sends them. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. Uh, who are we fighting? The Darkspawn threat grows in the south. We need all the help we can get. Uh, tell me more about the Darkspawn. They are twisted monsters that dwell underground where the sun's light cannot touch them. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor lad with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for him. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. My what? <laughs> you are officially a mage within the circle of magi. Oh, it is magi, not magi. Okay, um, my phylactery? You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Cheers, lad. Uh, I'm glad to be part of the circle. Am I? I think so. I mean... I'm glad to be part of a group that is like me. I don't know if I'm glad to be, <laughs> like, under this, like, Templar oppression. But I don't think that's what it's saying, really. So I'll say that. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest. Or study in the library. The day is yours. Uh, can I leave the tower? Not yet. Remember, the tower's walls protect us as much as they protect others from us. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? Uh, <laughs> does Duncan not know where his quarters are? No, I won't say that. That's antagonistic. It would be my pleasure. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. New Codex, Duncan. Uh, oh, and wait, I think all three of these are new. Are they? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, Knight Commander Gregor, your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. The Circle of Magi has trained you, and we Templars of the Chantry stand vigil to ensure that training is adequate. 
Grim and Taciturn. Gregor has been Knight Commander of the Templar forces stationed at the Circle Tower for so many years that hardly anyone except the First Enchanter recalls that he is not simply a part of the Tower itself. First Enchanter Irving. If you want to survive, you must learn the rules and realize that sometimes sacrifices are necessary. There is no higher office in the Circle Tower than that of First Enchanter. The one who holds this title must not only be an able administrator, but also a mentor, leader, and surrogate, pa surrogate parent to all the mages of the tower. Irving has proven himself to be all these things, with an added dose of cunning. Most apprentices know that little goes on in the tower that Irving does not know. He can soothe Templars angered by some childish magical prank at the same time that he lords the pranksters, and everyone walks away satisfied. Duncan. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. Like many others, Duncan gave up his family name when he joined the ranks of the Wardens, a symbolic gesture of cutting ties. He might say that this was a convenience in his case, however. His mother was from the Anderfels, his father from Tevinter, his childhood was spent in the Free Marches and Orlais. His people were everywhere and his homeland was nowhere. He was given the almost impossible task of leading the Wardens in Ferelden, a kingdom that had thrown the Order out 200 years earlier. Facing local suspicion and hostility, he set about finding recruits. Thank you for walking with me. I'm glad for the company. Uh, I wanted to talk to you a little more. Yes? What about? Have there been many Darkspawn attacks? A horde has formed within the Korkari Wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an Archdemon is leading the Horde. Archdemon? Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but Archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A Horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. Uh, I thought the Darkspawn was destroyed in the Last Blight. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. And the King is mustering an army. Uh, why were Irving and Gregor arguing about the war? Hmm. King is mustering an army? Yes. Perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. I've heard about Darkspawn sightings, but an entire horde? They usually move around in small groups, but there are always more of them, lurking underground, biding their time. Why were Irving and Gregor arguing about the war? It is not my place to comment. Please, I'd like to know. As I said, it is not my place. Uh, you can tell me about the Grey Wardens, can't you? Our duty is to battle Darkspawn wherever they appear. We are elves, humans, and dwarves united by this common purpose. We should continue on our way. Yes, let's. Darkspawn. Those who had sought to claim heaven by violence destroyed it. What was golden and pure turned black. Those who had once been mage lords, the brightest of their age, were no longer men, but monsters. Sin was the midwife that ushered the Darkspawn into this world. The Magisters fell from the Golden City, and their fate encompassed all our worlds, for they were not alone. No one knows where the Darkspawn come from. A dark mockery of men, in the darkest places they thrive, growing in numbers, as a plague of locusts will. In raids, they will often take captives, dragging their victims alive into the deep roads, but most evidence suggests that these are eaten. Like spiders, it seems Darkspawn prefer their food still breathing. Perhaps they are simply spawned by the darkness. Certainly, we know that evil has no trouble perpetuating itself. The last blight was in the Age of Towers, striking once again at the heart of Tevinter, spreading south into Orlay and east into the Free Marches. The plague spread as far as Ferelden, but the withering and twisting of the land stopped well beyond our borders, here, Darkspawn have never been more than the stuff of legends. In the Northern Lands, however, particularly to Vinter and the Anderfels, they say Darkspawn haunt the hinterlands, preying on outlying farmers and isolated villages, a constant threat. What's in the controls? A whole lot of stuff. Oh boy. 
Let's not read all of that. Apart from the fact that friendly fire, let me just check. Uh, hmm. See, that says at the easy difficulty, party members take no damage from friendly fire. But when I chose my difficulty, it said on both easy and normal that they take no damage from friendly fire. So I wonder which is true. Because hmm. that is ever so slightly contradictory. One of them says it's just easy, one says easy and normal. Pile of books. Blood magic. The forbidden school. Hello. Uh, foul and corrupt are you who have taken my gift and turned it against my children. The ancient of Inters did not originally consider blood magic a school of its own. Rather, they saw it as a means to achieve greater power in any school of magic. The name, of course, refers to the fact that magic of this type uses life, specifically in the form of blood instead of mana. It was common practice at one time for a magister to keep a number of slaves on hand, so that should he undertake the working of a spell that was physically beyond his abilities, he could use the blood of his slaves to bolster the casting. Over time, however, the Imperium discovered types of spells that could only be worked by blood. Although Lyrium would allow a mage to send his conscious mind into the Fade, blood would allow him to find the sleeping minds of others, view their dreams, and even influence or dominate their thoughts. Just as treacherous, blood magic allows the veil to be opened completely so that demons may physically pass through it into our world. So is the veil like a barrier between our world and the Fade? Is that how that works? The veil is opened and demons may pass through it and demons are from the Fade, so I think that's what that's saying. The rise of the Chant of Light and the subsequent fall of the Old Imperium has led to blood magic being all but stamped out, as it should be, for, the, for it poses nearly as great a danger to those who would practice it as to the world at large. Yes, shouldn't we move along? Uh, we can talk more. Nice. Yes, what about? Uh, have there been many Darkspawn attacks? A horde has formed within the Korkari Wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe Wait, that an archdemon I already, I already that is one, leading I? the horde. Uh, I thought the Darkspawn had been driven away. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. Avoiding a problem does not make it disappear. The Darkspawn are a real threat we cannot ignore. But standing around talking solves nothing. Let us go. Yes, shouldn't we move along? Yes. What about? Uh, I think we did that one as well, right? I just wanted to say how honoured I am to meet you. I am flattered. I was not expecting quite so warm a reception. Okay. Yes, let's. Cool. Just wondered if there was anything else we could get out of him. Uh, right, so back to his rooms, yeah? Nothing new is going to have spawned in any of these joints just after a cutscene or anything, are they? Don't think so. Uh, whereabouts was it? Over here, right? Yeah. New Codex, the Grey Wardens. Uh, here we are. The first blight had already raged for 90 years. The world was in chaos. A god had risen, twisted and corrupted. The remaining gods of Tevinter were silent, withdrawn. What writing we have recovered from those times is filled with despair, for everyone believed, from the greatest archons to the lowliest slaves, that the world was coming to an end. At Weishaupt Fortress in the desolate Anderfels, a meeting transpired. Soldiers of the Imperium, seasoned veterans who had known nothing their entire lifetimes except hopeless war, came together. When they left Weishaupt, they had renounced their oaths to the Imperium. They were soldiers no longer. They were the Grey Wardens. The Wardens began an aggressive campaign against the Blight, striking back against the Darkspawn, reclaiming lands given up for lost. The Blight was far from over, but their victories brought notice, and soon they received aid from every nation in Thedas. They grew in number as well as reputation. Finally, in the year 992 of the Tevinta Imperium, upon the Silent Plains they met the Archdemon Dumat in battle. A third of all the armies of Northern Thedas were lost to the fighting, but Dumat fell, 
and the Darkspawn fled back underground. Even that was not the end. The Imperium once revered seven gods, Dumat, Zazikel, Toth, Andoral, Razikael, Lusakan, and Urthemiel. Four have risen as archdemons. The Grey Wardens have kept watch through the ages, well aware that peace is fleeting and that their war continues until the last of the dragon gods is gone. Right, do we just chat to you in here now? Or wait, what's the there's an exclamation mark. Oh, Jowan. Okay, so do you have nothing else to say? Is there something else I can do for you? Oh shit, never mind. There's a whole lot more to say now he's here. Okay, uh what's happening outside the tower? Ah, I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? Uh we're not allowed to leave. I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. How many mages have joined the King's army? When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. Uh, why doesn't the King come himself? I mean, because he's the King. How many mages could you need? I mean, as many as they can get, I'm guessing. I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. Uh... Will you fight with the king? Of course, but I am no mage. Mages heal. They can call fire and ice down upon the enemy, and so much more. I sometimes wonder if the Chantry's many laws regarding magic are necessary. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. Nah, man, I'm interested. Uh... <laughs> old men talking have defined my life. I learned much from what you said. <laughs> you are too kind. Can you tell me more about Grey Wardens and Darkspawn? Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Oh, wait, shit, this just loops back around to this question. Our duty is to battle Darkspawn wherever they appear. We are at a hawk. We Grey Wardens believe that an uh, Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands. A horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. God damn it. I can't I don't think I can get back to the previous section. I think I have to end the conversation and then talk again. Don't let me keep you. Is there something else I can do for you? Here we go. Uh have you ever seen someone use blood magic? Once, in my youth, just after I joined the Grey Wardens. I was travelling with my mentor. We encountered a group of Templars hunting a blood mage. They were quite far away, so I cannot be sure of what I saw. He forced some of the Templars to turn on their fellows. It was dreadful to behold. He would have escaped had he not overlooked one Templar who snuck up behind him and cleaved his head in two. <laughs> He's not going to like it if I say that. Uh, I don't want to call it evil because it's not evil in and of itself. I guess it's how you use it. I'm sure he was just trying to survive. It is something to consider, certainly. Do you know anything about the Tranquil? The mages whose connection to the Fade has been severed? Why do you ask? Don't you think it's cruel? It keeps them and those around them safe. Perhaps the sacrifice is worthwhile. I cannot say. Way to take a stand, my dude. Uh... Okay. Do not let me keep you. I think that's everything. All right. Hello. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Uh, I think I am for now. <laughs> Going through another personal crisis? Very funny. I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Uh, of course I do. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. You're starting to worry me, man. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please.
What is up with this dude? We should be safe here. Uh In the chapel, the Templar's favorite haunt? We can see the door from here. If anyone comes, we'll change the subject. Uh Wait, I've seen you before. I often attend to my duties in this chapel. Perhaps that is why I seem familiar. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. Oh, she was the one praying, right? Uh. <laughs> oh my god, this fat cow is your lover? She's not even fat! My condolences, Lily. An initiate, that's forbidden. Hmm. Didn't know that. That's interesting. If it is forbidden. Let's see what he says. So you can see why we wish to keep it a secret. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. <laughs> Did you bring me here just to talk about your affair? Uh, love will conquer all. <laughs> There's some really good options. There's some really good dialogue options. Uh... Okay, man. I can keep a secret. I mean, you seem like a... I don't know. I was going to say a bit of a knob, but he's not, he doesn't really seem like a bit of a knob. He just seems a bit... Uh, I don't know. Wet. <laughs> he's a bit of a wet blanket is the vibe I'm getting, but he, he's not... He's not... He's not nasty. So I'll keep, I'll keep your secret. Thank you. I knew you'd stand by me. Uh... You kind of brought me here to chat about love. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. They think you're too weak? There's, they they force tranquil on, tranquility on someone if they think they're too weak or too powerful, right? And <laughs> I don't think they think this dude's too powerful. Um... That sounds terrible. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk, breathing and existing, but not truly living. Uh, so why would they do... Is, is he just like... Is this just paranoia? Why would they do that? There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. Ah, we heard about a blood mage. They think a mage will endanger everyone. Uh, I assume they're wrong? Of course not. But it's not safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. Uh... <laughs> what do I get out of helping you? The joy of helping a friend? The satisfaction of knowing you prevented a gross injustice? The repository holds more than phylacteries. Join us, and the artifacts will be yours for the taking. Aren't you sick and tired of the circle running your life? You could get out of here with us. Uh, my phylactery has been taken to Denerim. I'm still trapped. You'll be out of here and gone before they can even dispatch a messenger to the city. You're talented and clever. You could take your phylactery back from your hunters if you wish. You have so much power. Once you're free, they wouldn't be able to stop you. He is really keen for me to be on his side. <laughs> Couldn't you just explain this to every, to someone? If we tell anyone, Lily will be punished. If you care about what happens to me, help us. Uh, yeah, all right then. I give you my word. Thank you. We will never forget this. So what do you intend to do? I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? Uh, are you suggesting we break through it? I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom. But Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. Right, so you need me because I'm not an apprentice anymore? Uh... Okay, I will go to the stockroom and retrieve this rod. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. 
So I have to do all the dirty work. I'd go with you, but it would look suspicious. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. Okay, bound in blood and magic. New Codex, the Tranquil. Although apprentices do not know the nature of the harrowing, all of them understand its consequences. They either pass and become full mages, or they are never seen again. Those who fear to undertake this rite of passage, or those who are deemed too weak or unstable, are given the rite of tranquility instead. The actual procedure, like the harrowing, is secret, but the results are just as well known. The rite severs your connection to the Fade. The tranquil, therefore, do not dream. This removes the greatest danger that threatens a weak or unprepared mage, the potential to attract demons across the veil. But this is the least of the tranquility's effects, for the absence of dreams brings with it the end of all magic ab magical ability as well as all emotion. The tranquil, ironically, resemble sleepwalkers, never entirely awake nor asleep. They are still a part of our circle, however, and some might say they are the most critical part. They have incredible powers of concentration, for it is simply impossible to distract a tranquil mage, and this makes them capable of becoming craftsmen of such skill that they rival even the adeptness of the dwarves. The Formari, the branch of the circle devoted to item enchantment, is made up exclusively of tranquil, and is the source of all the wealth that sustains our towers. Okay, you got anything more for me? I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. Really? I need to talk what? to you. Uh, how did you meet Lily? She was saying the chant of light in the chapel one night while I was walking past. I've heard that chant many times, but I never realized how beautiful the words were until then. Oh. I'll never forget that night. Uh, do you know where your family is? No, and I don't care. Why? I don't believe you've ever talked about them. I don't really want to think about them. I came here a year or so before you did. I must have been five or six years old. Mother stopped talking to me after I showed signs of magical ability. She wouldn't even look at me. She'd mutter under her breath that I was a demon child and an abomination in the Maker's sight. Yeesh. <laughs> you are somewhat demonic looking. That's cruel. Mother could be cruel. Especially if you got on her bad side, which was easy to do. She'd fight with my father, saying that she didn't want that thing, meaning me, in her house. Guess that's what drove him to leave me at the village chantry. I suppose it's just as well. Ugh, it's the past. Uh, is this just going to be the same dialogue as before about blood magic? It's not true, right? Of course not. I never use blood magic. I've been sneaking around to meet Lily in secret. Maybe others have seen me and assumed I must be doing something forbidden. I suppose we are, but they think it's blood magic, and it isn't. Uh, we can't tell them the truth. We can't talk to the first enchanter because you're still doing something with her. I never saw a problem with blood magic myself. I'm curious what he'll say. Blood magic lets mages influence the minds of others. What if someone used it to control a king or a grand cleric? That's Magic just good must banter, serve right? Man, not rule over <laughs> just, just Remember? Cheeky bats. The Chantry fears this above all else. That's why the Templars, Gregor, will pay attention to a mindless rumor. Yeah, fair. We'll talk later. Are you ready to go? Codex updated. It doesn't like light up again, is the thing. Hmm. All right. Uh, wait. That's the main quest. What is the? Is this a side quest? Hope you're having a good day. Yes. Who are you? Senior Enchanter Leora, in charge of the Circle's laboratory. Is there something you want? What's that door over there? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Can I have a look inside? Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. Why is that? <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Uh, keep safe? Aren't the circle stores meant to be used? Yes, but I... 
I am in the midst of stock taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Sus. So why are you out here and not in there? Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh... Ugh. Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. <laughs> well, are you? Do you need help? I could use some, I'm sure. I've been too busy with my new duties. I haven't been able to deal with the spiders. If you cleared them out for me, I would owe you a favor. A big one. Is that all? I really have nothing to offer you. There are things in the storerooms, of course, but I'm not at liberty to just give them away. Uh, all right, I'll do it. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. New quest, Infested Storerooms. Now, does it automatically change that to be my main quest? I can mark that as active quest, okay. And that's through here, is it? Success! Cool. Save and save and save and yeah! Okay, hopefully this isn't too hard. Spirit Charm. 10% fire resistance. A flat disc of solid iron bearing the image of the flame of Andraste hangs on this hemp cord. Uh... To... Wait, what's the Ring of Study? Plus one magic. So the Ring of Study got added automatically. Okay, um... Wait, I've got different types of robes now. Mage robes or apprentice robes. I assume the mage robes are better. One willpower, one magic. Apprentice is just willpower. Okay, uh... Magic Staff, Acolyte Staff. Uh... Actually, I'm not sure which one's better. They are both staffs, two-handed, iron tier 1, 16 magic, mage, 3 damage, 20 armor penetration, 50 range, and 1 spell power. And then the difference is the acolytes is plus 2 spell power, and the magic is plus 1 magic. But I don't really know <laughs> how much of a difference that's going to make. I guess we'll go with the magic one. Uh, hello spiders. Any, any spiders around here? No, this should be a man. Was a pretty big spider. Poisonous spider. All right. Now this should be fun. If you insist. No. Oh, hello. Yes. Okay, we need to wait for our manager regen, so I'm not gonna walk forward. Uh, cause I think, I don't think my manager regen, does my manager regen in combat? Not sure. If I spawn another thing, then I might not, it might stop it regening, so. There we go, that's about full. Uh, 14 gold from that, I'll take it. 
Novice Lightning Rune. Plus one electricity damage. The symbol is the old Tavinta rune for Tempest. You can upgrade weapons by enchanting them with runes. Okay. Is that something I can do in my inventory? Or is that something I need to be a specific place for? Uh, where would runes... So, there's that. Doesn't look like I can do anything with it right now. Yeah, I think that's something we'll have to do at, like, a specific crafting bench or something. So we started there. So we could have gone right or left. We went this way. Okay. Not bad. Very glad I got the lightning spell. Hello, can you lock on? That's from the killer. Oh, another point for me. He like auto attacked it. Do I just need to be facing them for the auto attack to go off? Fade striders. Requires 10 strength. Same armor, same fatigue, but this one gives plus one magic. Rare and restricted by the Chantry, these Lyrium enhanced boots reinforce a connection to the Fade and to magic. Do, do, do. Wait, where would it be? Here. Uh, fade Striders. Oh, wait, did it auto equip them? No. Does blue mean it's equipped? Blue means it's equipped, right? Yeah. Oh my fucking god, you bitch. Yes. Alright. You son of a bitch, that made me jump. That made me fucking jump. Accolade staff. I don't know if that's supposed to be better or not. It's much of the likeness. Okay, is there a, is there a spider going to drop down whenever there's that's a fucking... The gets the prize. Hello. No, I go, go, gadget auto attack. Auto attack doing work. We love to see it. More private documents. I assume we can do something with that at some point. This is just a dead end. Are we looping back around to... Yes, we are looping back around to the start. Okay, it's just a circle. And Q Spider. And Q Spider. No? Have we killed them all? Oh my fucking Christ, you motherfuckers! How are you gonna do me like that, man? That's so cruel. Alright. That's all of them, isn't it? Wouldn't it tell me when we're done? You have killed all the spiders in the cave. Sen Senior Enchanter Leora will be pleased to hear of this. Okay. So it doesn't come up with like an objective complete or anything on the screen. You just have to check your menu. Man, dropping those fucking spiders on my head. Fuck you. <laughs> You're back. Are the spiders gone? They are. I've dealt with your infestation. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. You've saved my hide, I'm sure. And I owe you a favor, so if you need anything, I'll be here. Uh, keeping the creepy crawlies away? Exactly. I'll be here, keeping the crawlies away. 
cool. Quest updated, and I assume that means quest completed. Uh, call in a favor. You've killed all the spiders, and she's promised you a favor. All right, so can I talk to it's her again to immediately? Again. Seen any more sign of more spiders? No, thank the maker. You were pretty thorough. I don't think I could have done a better job. Thanks again. How do I call in a favor then? My the the quest is to call in a favor, but I don't. If I talk to her, she doesn't give me the option to. It's good to see you again. Hmm. That's strange. Okay, that's the main quest. Over here we've got First Enchanter Irving. So let's go to the right and see what he wants us to do. I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarters? Sure did. It was an utter waste of my time. Why did you ask me to do that? I wanted you to meet Duncan. He's a most honorable man. Uh, we spoke a little. I'm glad you did. He must have told you about the Grey Wardens. We can learn much from them. Now, did you need something? Uh... Hmm... Why do you have books on blood magic on your desk? I've removed them from the library. I was advised it might be unwise to leave them where any apprentice may read them. They will be put away somewhere very safe. Now, is there anything else? Uh, when is Joan going through the harrowing? When he is ready. He fears he's going to be made tranquil. And how does he know this? I suppose the young initiate he dallies about with revealed it to him. You think I didn't know? I did not become first enchanter by keeping my eyes and ears shut. Uh... I don't want to dob him in. I mean, he obviously knows about Lily. I don't want to dob him in about escaping. Why are you doing this? Gregor says he has proof and eyewitness testimony that Jowen has been practicing blood magic. I cannot say more. Were it left to me, things might be different. But the Chantry... I'm sorry, child. This rite of tranquility will happen. Hmm... Would he be making it up? Let us not speak ill of my colleague. Our colleague. You know little of this. And I ask you to hold your tongue. Uh... Oh, I don't know, man. Is he... Is he actually practicing blood magic? Like, he might be. If the books were in the library, then he could have read them. And if Gregor says he has eyewitness proof, like, I don't really know this dude. I don't know whether he's just being a dick or whether he actually does have eyewitness proof. I don't know. I don't know. Should I dob him in? This is tough. I actually, I don't know if I trust him or not. He didn't seem the type, but then if they say they have eyewitness proof and he said that he did have blood magic books out there, so he could have seen them. I'm feeling, I'm now leaning towards maybe he, maybe he is doing it. I'm going to feel so bad if I dob him in though and he's not. I'm leaning towards he is actually doing blood magic now, though, with those two additional bits of information. Oh, let's tell him. Oh, interesting. What more do you know? Uh, will telling you earn me a reward? Your loyalty to the circle is obvious. Tell me what you know, 
Your candor will not be forgotten. Okay. Uh, Joan and Lily are plotting to destroy Joan's phylactery. Yes, she must be helping him. She would know more about the repository than he would. Do you know anything else? Uh, Lily told me and I promised to help. I suspected Lily would tell him of the impending right if she found out. But I never expected they would have the gall to break into the repository. Hmm. What should we do now? Reporting him to Gregor and the Templars will accomplish nothing beyond what's already planned. If the Circle must punish one of its own, I will see the Chantry done the same courtesy. Lily will not walk free while my apprentice suffers. Wait, that wasn't my intent. <laughs> She's just trying to save the man she loves. She is also breaking every vow she ever took. What are you getting at? If we mention her involvement, the Chantry will say that she was framed. No, she must be caught in the act. Uh, but didn't you say the Chantry protects us? Or you're using Lily to get back at the Chantry? If you want to survive, you must learn the rules and realize that sometimes sacrifices are necessary. Jowen will become tranquil, but Lily must also face the consequences of her actions. How did you learn of their plan? Do they trust you? They asked me to help them break into the repository. Perfect. Will you return to them and carry out their scheme? With solid proof of their crime, we can act. <laughs> Fuck. I feel bad that this is now leading to Lily being fucked as well. Because, well, what if she knows he's doing blood magic? I don't know. Maybe she's not actually in the clear. Maybe she knows he's doing blood magic and is just cool with it. Um, that's beyond the call of duty. What's in it for me? No charge from me is beyond your duty to this circle, mage. You must obey this order. All right. Go. Convince them you will risk all for their cause. I will be outside the repository with a contingent of Templars. Let them see the mischief into which their initiate led our student. Perform well, and your dedication will be rewarded. Okay. You are back. Has something gone wrong with the plan? Uh... Do you expect something to go wrong? If you do your job, I will do mine, and everything will go smoothly. How will you know when we get in? I will know. Trust me. Uh, give me, give me a once over. Help Jowen and Lily break into the repository. I shall be waiting when you emerge. You are doing a great service for the Circle. Be proud. Okay. Yes, you should not be seen talking to me, lest Jowen and Lily become suspicious. Well, this didn't go exactly how I was expecting. But, uh... That is... What we're doing now. Okay, uh, so... Has it updated? What does it say on this now? Uh... Cap the, catch the escape artists in action. You've been tasked to go through the plan so that they can be caught red-handed. Right. Oh, I hope I'm right. Imagine if he's not doing blood magic and I've just fucking ruined his life. <laughs> I, I don't know. I Just those extra bits of information, it just sounded like he would be. I wonder if whichever... Maybe whichever choice I make, it's like the wrong one. Maybe it changes so that you always choose wrong or something. I don't know. Can I, can I get a favor from you at all? It's good to see you again. Hmm. I wonder how we get that favor, because it's, it's part of the quest. The quest is now to get a favor from her, but we cannot. All right, so 
I think we're going to end off there. Bit of a cliffhanger. Bit of a cliffhanger. But I think that is a good point to leave off. When we come back, we're going to get the rod from Owain. We're going to go through with the plan. And uh, then they will get caught and we will see how things progress from there. This has been a very cool couple of parts. Really exploring this tower. Kind of reminds me of uh, my first time going to the Citadel very early in Mass Effect after the opening mission. Which is sort of like after the opening mission in the Fade here. Just the missions themselves were quite different. And then spending a bunch of time exploring the new the new like hub area. So there is there are some similarities to draw there, which is interesting for me to see. But uh, I mean, game-wise, they are pretty different. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. Learning about the world, reading all the lore. Just, yeah, immersing myself in it. Having a great time. Hope you are too. Hope you're enjoying watching. If you are, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is that Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel and the buying of these games, all that jazz. I would massively appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching. See you then.